Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. In the last episode, we went to the Temple of the Ocean King, killed all the phantoms, got their treasures, and we got ourselves a couple more treasure maps. In this episode, we go to Harrow Island, get some more treasure maps, and then we, uh, we salvage all those. Get the last set of hours that we need, so that we can go back to the Temple of the, of the Ocean King, get max time, which will be 25 minutes, because it's how much time is left on the thing, not how much time you've spent, so... Basically, the perfect time is 25 minutes, so on and so forth. Now, in between episodes, I actually went to Beetle looking for golden parts, uh, although the golden dream is pretty much dead, because we have four golden parts to get, and it's just going to be way too much of a weird happening to get, but I actually got this thing, the uh, stone head pr uh, the prow, which is basically, a. Uh, if you look in the collection screen, I can go ahead and show it off, it is actually the uh, mermaid prow, so... We now have basically every stone part except for the anchor, I believe. So I figure I just throw all the stone parts on the stone. Uh, I believe the stone body piece as well. Then just half stone, half golden, because stone's been kind of a thing we've been using a lot this playthrough. So we're gonna kind of go with the half stone, half golden look. I really like how it turns out in the long run. So uh, that costs 420 rupees at this point. I'm just like, you know what? A, I have a ton of treasures treasures to sell anyway. If a golden part does show up. B, you can kind of grind 600 rupees easily in three floors of, temple, of the Temple of the Ocean King, as we saw last episode. And C, uh, the golden the golden dream is dead. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure at this point that the golden dream is just dead. So we're gonna head to Harrow Island first, guys. Just check out this boat. We uh, that prow is really cool though. And we have like this whole stone motif going on here. I don't know. I I like how it's turned out. It's a the stone motif is actually really interesting, so I guess just the fates have told us that we have to go for stone today, and we did, because I have four stone parts that are not the non-golden ones that I have all the stone parts for, and oops, didn't want to go there, I want to go here. Um, and then I have four golden parts, and I don't know, I think it looks pretty cool, so we're going to stick with this, I think. Uh, I mean, the tropical one's pretty cool as well, we had Mr. Crazy Tropical Land. Do I really want to go for this today? Because we have so much to do in this episode. Do I really... You know what? If we're doing this whole salvaging thing, I may as well get the salvage that this is going to give as well. Just on the off chance that, you know... Hey, last time we were in this area, we got a golden part. Who knows? Although, you need to be careful I don't die. Because this place is kind of scary. So you need to stop with the whole shooting thing. Are you actually... Is there an actual salvage point here? I can't tell because there's a bunch of... There, yeah, there, there it is. It's right, right here. Let's go ahead and just do an extra one along the way, just, just only enough chance, you never know, it could be a golden part. I figure, you know, since we're doing a salvage episode anyway, we may as well go ahead and do an extra salvage just for funsies. We're probably going to have a couple of these, actually. And realistically, this is going to be a pretty lengthy episode anyway, so... It's, it's going to be the final salvage episode, basically. We're going to get all the, uh, the final salvages of the game, our last chance to get any extra golden parts, you never know. We could end up getting the one. I swear to goodness, though, if I actually get the mermaid prow after I spent 420 rupees on it, I'm going to be a little salty, not gonna lie. So hopefully that won't happen, because then I will have wasted my money, and that will just be somewhat sad. So let's not have that be a thing. Careful. Do not want to go wrecking our salvage arm this early on. We have so many salvages to do today. It's not even funny. So let's not, you know... Minimize waste here to oh, that was some risky action going on there, but somehow, some way, it actually paid off, and that's really all that matters. So, good on us, I suppose. It's time for us to salvage this treasure, see what we end up getting. Oh, mystery box, please be a golden part, keep the dream alive. No, but it's an insect wheel. Not really sure what set that goes for, but I don't think I have one of those, so. At least it's a new ship part. Maybe, maybe if you guys want, and this is something I'm highly considering, maybe at the end of the project, maybe I'll just do a, a bonus episode where I show off as many ship sets as I can. Like, I won't have, like, as, uh, like that I have, I mean. I'll show off as much of the ship, like, each ship set as I have per set. I'm not going to go out of my way to find more ship parts, but uh, any of the parts I have, I might just, like, be like, okay, so this is kind of a semblance of what this set will look like. And this is what this set will kind of look like, and so on and so forth, just, just to show off all the different boat sets. I think that could be a cool way to end the project, is just, is just to have a kind of, hey, let's go, uh, 
on a boat spree sort of thing. Can we not? I'm already almost dead. It's extremely rude. So now Harrow Island should have the final two treasure trip maps in the game. There's 31 total. I have 29 right now. I'll show that I have 31 after I get these two maps, but uh, these should be the last two maps in here. So I'm going to give it one try on camera, perhaps even or you know, maybe 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 I'll even cut this out if I need to for to save some time in the video. But uh, basically going to keep in one attempt here. If I don't get lucky, then I will uh, cut till when I do get lucky. So that's the plan. Well, uh, we have plenty of money to spend on all of this. I hopefully uh. Hopefully the two maps will be in here somewhere. Let's, let's see if we can't get some, uh, oh, okay. Let's see how many Rupors I can get, as usual. Okay, yep, we're off to a great start, guys. Yep, Harrow Island is a, jeez, okay, can we not just lose all of my money in one attempt here? No, we can just get a treasure map instead. That's cool of me. So, I don't know if like these quadrants actually matter, I'm fairly sure it's just random chance, but there we go, confirmed! Harrow Island does have two more treasure maps for us to get, so we will actually uh, keep going until we get both of them on the first try, because, you know, I'm just cool like that. So there we go, I guess I can keep this attempt in. I will take all of those Rupors if it means I get two treasure maps on the first try. Worth? Because I said so. Let's see if we can recoup some of our losses, though, just for funsies. Because we're already here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's Lucky Lee. Okay. Well, let's see how much more money we can lose. I would take the small one. I'm a tiny winner. I spent more money to do that, but at least I wasn't a big loser. Like, I apparently am with doing... Just... Wow. Wow. How many Rupors can I get in one session here. But I got two treasure maps in one go. If you look at our collection screen, we now have a grand total of 31 treasure maps down here, which is the max number of treasure maps in the game. There's 31 total. We now have 31. So without further ado, guys, it's time for us to go ahead and salvage all these maps, finish off all of the treasure of the sea. Every single treasure will have been brought up besides the ones that you can get from uh, fighting pirate ships. And uh, life will be good, I guess. Uh, at this point, it's almost just as quick just to head north from here. It might even bring us near a couple maps anyway, which will be nice. So let's just go ahead and head north and we'll just get the, uh, the nearest maps from there, I suppose. So that'll be the plan. This said enemy sighted, but... And again, where are these enemies? Oh. It's the sharks, which luckily do not show up much in the northeast sea chart, because these sharks are kind of annoying, and I guess the trick is to just not look at them, because then they attack you. It seems like if you don't look at them, they they don't they, uh, they just don't care, so... I don't know, but there is a, uh, a salvage leg right near where we started, so it seems like my decision was indeed a good one. Let's go ahead and do our first salvage of the day, or well technically our second salvage of the day, but that's okay, because it's going to be the first of the actual chests that we'll get, so does a golden part await us, guys? We'll have to find out now, because I, well, we're just going to have to see. There could be golden parts, there could be no golden parts, who knows? I mean, the odds are probably not going to be any golden parts, but I could strike it lucky, who knows? We've gotten, technically for our salvage sessions, we're two for two, so who knows? Then again, we've also found a, a second golden cannon, of all things, which I don't think I've sold yet, so I do have that, I do have that 1,500 rupees in the bank as I just kind of cough. Pro tip, do not drink uh, soda before you start recording, because now my throat's like, oh boy, you have another half hour of talking, good thing I'm going to just be all sorts of icky, but heck if I'm scrapping this recording, I got both salvage maps. In one try! I'm not scrapping that for the world! No siree! Alright, throw your treasure treasure chest on my mermaid. We got the sickle anchor, so uh, I guess you can say it's a pretty sick reward! Ha 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 ha! Ha! I'll shut up now. Anyway, uh, some of these chests are gonna be kind of a pain to get in the butt to get, like there's the one over by uh, the land of the dead over there. 
just way out of the way, but uh, I guess we'll just kind of... And don't forget, there is two more in the northeast one, or the northwest one as well, that we can access by heading left from here. That we've had for most of the game now at this point. Hi, big fish! I don't need you anymore! I already caught Neptuna! Don't need a Neptuna. I am... I am lord and master of the fishing! I am the true adventurer! I am the terror that flaps in the night! Yes, that was a Darkwing Duck reference. Yes, I know, I'm awesome. Anyway, so far we've been pretty good at not working our salvage arm though, and I've completely jinxed it, and... We seem to keep getting the exact same layout every single time, which is kind of funny. But, uh, I'm not complaining, because it's actually worth a decent amount of money. It's 20 rupees every time, and... That's more than you get from most salvages, so hey, a little bit of extra money that I have absolutely no need for besides buying golden parts. Cool story. So, let's just go ahead and uh, bring our our chest to the surface. See if we can keep our streak of not screwing things up going on here. I know there's going to be two, one on the left and one on the right coming down here. Yep. I saw you. Thought you were clever, but you were wrong. You cannot outwit me. I am the master of salvage. I am the terror that makes the same jokes over and over again. I am Dorkwing Duck. Indeed. Pun intended. Ooh, it's a paddling wheel. We're gonna create all sorts of different wheels today. It's an interesting uh, occurrence there. Why not? Hey, extra wheels that, for some reason, I mean, like I said, I kind of want to show off all the ship sets now, and while I don't have nearly all the parts, I can at least show off a decent amount of them. So maybe uh, maybe we'll have like a a little extra. Or actually, I'll cover in the in, uh, before the closing video. I'll make it part of the closing video. That makes the most sense, I think, because it won't take that long of a section, and it just it'll be a nice way to wrap up the project with a. Uh, a bit of a, a boat montage. Ooh, so artsy. There we go, this one's a little different now. It's moderately more exciting. Even though, you know, it still has these annoying Octorox who move around and blow on my thing here and just make my life difficult. And why am I going for this? Why am I doing this? I don't know, but I did it. I mean, as long as you take it slow, especially if, I mean, if you have like the right like angle and pacing going on there, you really can just kind of hold the thing where it is and it'll just kind of snake its way through. Just take your time if you're going for that one. For a 20 rupee thing, you know, you think it'd be worth a little bit more than just 20 rupees because we've seen 20 rupee ones earlier that are not nearly that difficult and uh, you expect that one to be worth like a 50 maybe, but nope. Or I guess in a, oh, the, the, it's not a 50 rupee, it's a 100 rupees. The next is the big green rupee, it's worth 100. Because we've seen a 100 rupee under the sea before. I didn't realize that was a thing until I got it, but we have seen it. So it does exist. But, uh, that's okay. So what do we have in here? Ooh, we got nothing remotely good. My favorite. Alright, you know the nice thing, by the way, is that Jolene no longer exists. We've scared her off for good. So, we now no longer have to worry about uh, her interrupting our boat travels, which is nice. So, all is well that ends. Well, I love the mermaid prow! This thing's cool, we have an actual mermaid on our boat. It's such a majestic boat, too. Seriously? S seriously? We're stuck on a nothing. Oh, there we go. Sometimes I question the boat island physics of this game. Sometimes they're just a little bit weird. Sometimes I just am confused. It's happened quite a few times in this project. Clearly, clearly it's a thing in this game. Which is funny because sometimes you run into things you take damage and sometimes you run into things and the game is just like, I have no idea what the heck just happened? I'm so sorry. And then everyone's just confused, and we're just gonna kinda go in a loopy loop here, by the way, in case you're wondering, we're gonna kinda go in a, go in a clockwise loop here. A clockwise loop here. <laughs> we're gonna go in a clockwise whoop here. Just insulting accents now. This video has it all. Coughing. Big fish that I don't care about. Beetle. Oh! 
terrible accents. Hazards that I have to delete? Oh, that's just everyone's vi dream video combination come true here. I know. I know. I'm excited too, you guys. Alright, can you guys just not do this here? I don't want to... Give me that 20 rupee. Yeah, thank you for that 20 rupee. Bye! I'm going to lower a salvage arm into the sea, which somehow makes you despawn. I'm not sure how that works, but that's how it works. And we've just seen this formation too, so... I guess that will mean we'll have the 20 rupee thing coming up in just a little bit again, and... Because I'm a crazy, crazy person, I'm gonna go for it. Yep, there it is. Let's do... Oh, Yeah, I was like, I'm wibble wobbling way too much here for this to ever work out in my favor. But you know what? I'm at four hits. I'm pretty sure I'll be okay. So... As long as we don't wombo combo ourselves into disaster... Which is totally possible, so be careful, because it is totally possible to wombo combo yourself into, into disaster. Don't get me wrong. Salvage Arm could go horribly wrong really, really, really quickly. But as long as you're careful, as long as you're careful, all shall be well. So bring your treasure chest up here, and we shall see what we dig up. And then we have, what, another six more disregarding the possibility that more pirates could show up to give us more things to get. We got a barrel shack. Welcome to Donkey Kong. That's apparently a thing we can do. Okay. Well, I have a lot of interesting boat parts now to show off. We're getting a lot of new parts today, which... I mean, yeah, it's sad that it's not a golden anything, but, uh... There's still new parts, and I will accept that, because that's... that's not bad. So... Our next, uh, adventure... lies... here. It's probably close enough. Actually, you know what? I don't want to risk it, because... Uh, sure, that's probably a little bit better. Because we have missed it before by being ever so slightly off, so do be careful. It can happen. And when it does happen, you will be the sad. And no one wants to be the sad. That's just sad. No one wants to be sad. Okay. I don't necessarily trust this is going to work in my favor. But I will try anyway. Oh god, I'm actually kind of scared here. I mean, there's rupees here. Usually that's a good sign. But not necessarily a guaranteed sign. I don't know. Have I screwed myself over here, guys? Am I close enough to the treasure, or am I too far away? Will it be here at the bot? Don't drift! Don't drift. Yeah, okay, it's still there. We're good. I found you, treasure! Thought you weren't- I thought you weren't gonna be here. But you were! You were waiting for me all this time. And now... We shall be- I mean, where does he put all these treasure chest cases, though? You take the things out of the treasure, and then where does he put them? Does the bottom of the ship have, like, a giant storage of sunken treasure cases? Does he sell- does Limebeck sell the cases at a marginal profit? Does he give them to the rupee guy, the, the treasure guy from, uh, Mercy Island? Is that what he was doing when he wasn't at his boat? And then his whole talk about us being okay, and hey, gotta go protect L Link, Celia, etc. Hey, there's the Santa Virus we're looking for. We now have the max time of 25 minutes. Where's our... Do we have... There we go. It's up there on the upper left. Yep, 25 minutes is the maximum possible time in the game, guys. So we now have that. Very exciting. And uh, let's go ahead and get our last two treasures here, and we will... Be primed for a uh, perfect row. But yeah, Blindbeck totally selling off treasure chest cases at a profit. He would do it too. You know this is true. Look at this. Now that I have the big fish, the big fish just shows up every two seconds now. It's getting a little bit out of hand. Big fish, I know you miss me, but I don't miss you. Then again, I only had to try once, so I guess we mean you never spend that much time. So, all, like, I mean, all things considered, I've been getting pretty decent RNG lately. Be nice to get a golden part, like I said, but four is enough to get the seven hearts that I'm looking for. Ow. Uh, so, really, I don't need to ask for anything else. I mean, I have the four hearts I need. Or the, the four parts I need to get the extra hearts. The heart parts. I don't know. Terrible jokes were made that day, but that's okay. 
All right, let's bring let's bring our treasure up here. I'm looking at the time. I'm like, oh god, I still have so many things to salvage. This vi I cut that one a little too close there. Okay, I need to start being a little bit more careful here because if I keep screwing up, we won't have a salvage arm, and that would be bad. Plus, if I hit myself one more time, it's gonna start beeping all the time, and that's just not going to be any fun. Who wants to sit here and listen to beeping all the time? I certainly do not, so let's, uh, this is a Zelda game. We get enough beeping all the time. Beep. A uh, beep. Beep. Shut up, Navi. Hey, listen. Speaking of which, Hyrule Warriors is a game I have now, and it's a freaking great game. That just came out recently, and for those of you who have distant future who are watching this and being like, why are you talking about Hyrule Warriors now? That ancient relic of our past? Well, back in my day, Hyrule Warriors was a new game. And it was very exciting. I should probably stop talking to the future people because, hi present people, I'm not ignoring you, the people who watch my day, the videos on the day they come out. I love you guys too. All of you are awesome. Here at Lucky7DX channel, we don't shun any of our viewers based on the time they watch the video be it the present, the future, or I guess the past using the Thomas Edison time machine. Thomas Edison, I knew you were watching my videos! Hacks! Lies! I've clearly lost my mind. Like, more than, no, more than ever before, I've clearly lost my mind. Also, my boat is definitely drunk. Really, at this point, I just don't know what's going on anymore. What the heck are those things out in the distance? There's like... <laughs> Hello! The Octo Octo the Octorocopus. I don't know what his actual name is, but I'm calling him that now. He's just like, hey, what you doing? And I'm just like, uh, I'm trying to salvage here. Can you uh can you leave? Ah! I'm losing control of my arm! Oh, that was a little It's a little scary for him up there, but uh I guess you could say we salvage No! No, I'm not making a salvage the situation joke, no. No, not, never again. Never, ever again. Okay, we all know it's gonna happen again, but still! But still! It's a pun. I just have to. I'm sorry. It's in my nature to pun. Dogs bark. Cats meow. Lucky's pun. Or I guess you could just say El Pierre's pun, because it's pretty much the case. Be like a... Pokemon named like Punachu. Just be like, pun, 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 pun! In before 7th gen has a Punachu. And then I sue Nintendo for being awesome! Anyway, <laughs> Punachu used bad pun attack. The enemy's defenses were lowered. Ah, uh, it would be the truth and you know it. I kind of like these videos where like nothing important is going on because it just means I can start rambling off on the weirdest topics ever. And it's kind of actually fun. So, there is that, I suppose. Ooh. I'm assuming that's not a golden park, because I'm assuming the golden hole ho would be called the golden hell hole. Hell at all. But just to check. Nope, it's. Ooh, it's the second one. Okay. It's still a new hole, though, so. Like I said, I'm really getting a lot of new ship parts now. I can show off, uh, if I so choose at some point. So that's kind of cool. Didn't we get the artsy cannon before? Was that wasn't that the first cannon part we got way back in the day? Because I think it was worth 45. Because um, the artsy cannon. I'm, the reason I'm speaking of this is because that was the other thing in Beale's shop was an artsy cannon, and it was 4,500 rupees, which means we could technically sell that one for like. 1,500 rupees then, or 4,900 rupees technically, yeah. So we could sell that for like 1,500 rupees then if we wanted to. Never knew that can was so expensive up until now. Unless I sold it in a past video already. I don't really remember. This is a long time ago. Even for by this pro- I mean this project has been going on for a while now, so uh... Wrapping it up though guys, only a couple more videos and Phantom Hourglass will be complete. And honestly, for how subpar this game is, because it is, because it is subpar. My voice is still a little blah, 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 today, so apologies for that, but uh, as, as, as subpar as this game actually kind of is, uh, honestly, uh, 
it's it's still been a really fun project though. There's been a lot of oh shit, the beeping begins. There's been a lot of uh fun ridiculous times. The fail montage is gonna be just silly to make, and you know it. I don't know. It's been it's been a really good time. So let's just make sure I'm go I'm gonna actually focus for a second here because breaking my salvage arm now would be bad, and I don't want. Oh god, this is just gonna turn out poorly. We're gonna take this real nice and slow. Okay, let's go really fast. Slow, fast. Slow, okay. I know there's gonna be guys coming in from the left, or from the right, from directions of some sort. Actually, no, they're coming in from that way. That's right. They were, I, the middle one killed me, and now this, these ones are trying to kill me. Everything's trying to kill me, but that's okay, because at least I've done this, I think I've pulled off this salvage pretty good, not to jinx myself but I think we're gonna be okay. So at least I have this one done. I'm gonna take a risk here and try to gun it for the last couple ones because we're close to them and I don't want to go super far away from them. So, I mean, we have two more left. And yeah, it's gonna be two more because the pirates there nearby here we've already passed. And I think we'll get around, ooh, it's a strong cannon. I think I already have that one though, but I'm not sure. Like I said, when we're done with this, uh, you know, I think I can bypass the pirates if I go this way. Because I know there's pirates in this area, and as much as I want to fight them, I already got one pirate, extra pirate chest today, and I don't want to break my salvage arm, so let's try to bypass them if we can. Because I really, I mean, if the pirates end up showing up and I have to fight them, then I'll fight them, and I'll salvage their thing as well. But I'd rather not, because I'd rather not. But yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll definitely go through a whole boat jamboree at some point uh, and see all the ship parts I've collected. I think that'd be a fun way to end the project, like I said. Ooh, I think I can pass them. I don't think they're gonna notice me. They're facing the other way, they're going the other direction. They haven't showed up my, on my radar either, my map up on top, which now, okay, thanks, Lucky. Now you're gonna have to go, now post me is gonna have to go and throw in the top screen there. Way to be a silly face. But that's okay, cuz we passed the pirates. Ooh, Seagull, it's dead. I've killed the beast! It's been defeated! Delicious. Okay, two more salvages, and one hit left on our salvage arm. Not gonna take any, any chances here if I can help it, so let's be very cautious. Throw caution to the wind. Actually, not, that's the exact opposite of what I want right now. So, no, 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 no! Oh! It was starting to drift uncontrollably to the left there. I think the wind kind of blew it ever so slightly. Sometimes I feel like it just kind of drifts in directions. Sometimes it gets like it hits like a current or something. I'm not sure how the physics of the salvage arm minigame are exactly work exactly. Sometimes I feel like it it does it goes a little bit not where I wanted to go because like I mean you can see I'm like holding it all the way to the left here and it's going perfectly straight up here. So I don't really necessarily understand the physics of the salvage arm. But we got this one, and which means if for some reason I screw up and lose the last one, I mean, it's literally right next to a golden frog. So it will be far from the end of the world. It will be perfectly okay. So, we will open this up, get ourselves a drill plow. I think I have that one as well. I'm not entirely sure though. And like I said, since it's right next to the thing, we can literally just warp over there. The treasure chest is right next to there, and we will get our last ship part or other treasure, depending on what's in there. But we'll basically get our last, uh, this is the very last salvage we theoretically will be doing, unless I do pirates for some reason, but, like I said, the golden dream, I mean, we only have four parts. There's still a whole four more parts to get. That literally will be random chance. I like showing off everything in a game. I do not like showing off everything in a game. The, I, I, okay. I like to show off everything in a game that a skilled player could do in a normal playthrough. So 100%ing a game in such a way that like a normal player w without, basically without, like a, a skilled player would do, not a lucky player would do essentially. If it involves copious amounts of RNG, like getting all the rings for example in uh, the Oracle games, didn't do that because it just requires a ton of RNG and time. It's not really a 100% playthrough that a skill player would... Okay, a skill player could do it, but it doesn't really denote skill, it denotes luck. 
So I don't think it's really, really wor worth showing off. I mean, the reward's the golden ship, too. It's not like anything that really enhances my... Oh, okay, enhances a stat, yeah, but... It doesn't really add enough to the playthrough for just an RNG. Like, if it's me... I'm not gonna shirt a challenge by just being un too, not just not skilled enough or not grinding enough. Not doing enough. But if it's just, okay, I have to sit here until I'm lucky, which ironically is my name, but until I'm myself, then I'm not gonna do that because that's just kind of silly. Oh, good! It's just 300 rupees. That'll pay for a salvage arm repair, which is precisely what we're going to do, actually, because we're gonna head back to Mercy Island, guys, and actually... This video didn't end up being too long at all, all things considered. It's only been 31 minutes, so not too shabby. That is every single salvage arm in the game. In fact, I will confirm this once again. Like I said, 31 here. And if we go ahead and look at the uh, C chart, you'll see nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. And nothing here. We have gotten every single salvage in the game. Barring the ones that respawn by killing pirates, which will always be ship parts, which is a way to grind for golden parts, but like I said, it's entirely RNG based as well. So, really, it's just RNG no matter what you do. You can sit here and grind ship parts for days and not get a single golden one because they're also pretty rare. So, like I said, I show off everything I can that doesn't involve stupid amounts of RNG and doesn't really contribute overall to the, the game. Because usually things that actually contribute to the game, like good game design, is not based off complete RNG. In fact, it's kind of one of the flaws of the game that the best possible ship you can get is a completely RNG based. That's why they fixed it in Spirit Tracks. So, uh, we got a bunch of cool ship parts though, and I will do a whole ship part demonstration, uh, I think during the closing video or an extra video after the game is done. Cause you know what, it'd be kind of fun. But we'll fix our salvage arm because you know what? I like my salvage arm, so screw it. I'm gonna fix it. But with that guys, like I've said, we have the max possible time here at the Phantom Hourglass. So we're gonna go ahead and get our tempo clear time to 25 minutes next time. I will show you guys the perfect speed run. It'll be glorious. So that's gonna happen next time, guys. Lucky 70X Sunny out. See you all in the next video of Phantom Hourglass. Bye bye.